Hi folks, Marty here. Today we're going to do a wee painting of some sheep and this is part of our Christmas card series and um, we took some requests about uh, what people would like to see on a Christmas card. Uh, in part one of this series um, we done a snowman with a little robin on him and uh, it's got to be a snowy scene and that was some of the the things that people want to see. So this one is, um, we're going to do a couple of sheep. And so first of all, I'm going to just roughly sketch in my horizon. And then we're just going to keep this nice and simple, okay? And because there's going to be snow in this scene, you don't have to be do too detailed. Just roughly sketch that in. Then maybe stick one over here, a smaller one, out of the way. And then what we'll do is we'll then a bit of shadow. Like so. And then we'll think about where we're gonna put our some of our trees in here, just to give us a bit of an idea. So normally you'd uh, go about putting masking fluid on these, but I think we'll just keep it nice and simple and we'll just paint around them. And uh, we'll just build it up as we go. Okay, and then maybe cast a bit of shadow across here, it could be anything. You put another sheep here if you want, and just put as many as you want them. So once you've got that in and you're happy with it, it doesn't have to be too detailed. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll work on the sky first. Um, and what I'm going to do is um, mix up my blue. And I'm using cobalt for this. Maybe what I'll do is I'll put a bit of uh, neutral tint in with it. Just give it a bit of a dark overcast effect to it. Maybe bring a wee bit more of that neutral tint in. And then what I'll do is I'll put a bit of yellow ochre 
across the sky. I'll just soften that up around the bottom. So you get quite a nice effect with that. And then maybe go a wee bit darker, a wee bit more of that. Just looks like some darker clouds there. So I'm just gonna clean up the bottom of a wee bit there, okay? And what I'll do now is I'll put a bit of blue into that mix and maybe a wee bit of ochre. So I want to drop in some distant trees here. So just throw in a wee bit of ultramarine there. Just give me a darker color. And what I'll do is I'll just mop up that paint that's put in down at the bottom there. So I'm just using the same brush again but just dabbing it into the tissue. And so we want that to be nice and smooth, that horizon line. Okay, that'll give us a nice um, snow laden clouds to work with. And I'll just dry that off. Okay, at this stage, what I'm going to do is work on the shape. And um, the colour I normally use for that. Sheep aren't normally white either. Um, they're usually a bit of a, a dirty colour. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop in the first colour like this and then keep the top of that light as if there's a bit of light hitting the top of that shape and then I'll bring that colour on over to the second shape there in fact you could just paint the whole thing in because um, the head's going to be dark anyway so it's not going to really matter if you preserve that or not. And we'll do the these two back ones. Okay. Now what you can do is get your clean brush. Just touch the top of that. Just rip. It's almost like you're rubbing the paint off with the brush. Okay, and what you can do now is add a wee bit of brown to that. And I will switch to a smaller, finer brush for this. Okay, so when you see shape, usually the underneath of them, it's quite mucky, quite dirty. So maybe throw a wee bit of a dark colour into that.
do these back ones here. So it's not a very detailed um, execution of this. It's just keeping it very, very loose and impressionistic. And then as it goes down towards the the legs, it gets a wee bit darker. And that colour seems to be working for us. So what we'll do is we'll um we'll use that to do the sheep's heads Just grab a wee bit more brown just to okay I'm just dry that off my what I'm going to do is just do a wee bit more color underneath the sheep there just to highlight the fact that there's a lot of kind of mud and so on that's been kind of baked in there to the wool Okay, so I'll dry that off. Okay, at this stage what I'm going to do is I'm going to work on the snow. Okay, and um, as I've said in previous videos where we have been working on our snowscapes, um, the snow's not going to be white, it's going to be reflecting the colours that are around it. My usual go-to colours here, because they're translucent, um, and what that means is it allows any colours beneath it to show through, and it's also uh, good for glazing and stuff like that. Okay, so I'll just try and avoid the shape here. I'll put a wee bit of alizarin into that. Don't be afraid just to hit and miss with that. And as you come down to the bottom, you can make it a wee bit stronger. I always like to try and frame the picture with paint. And I 
was trying to get a wee bit of spatter in there. It always helps as well. And uh, you could even use um, clean water if you liked as well for the spotter technique. That can give you a nice effect. Okay, so I think we'll go we'll go with that. And the only thing that's left is the in that foreground, mid ground is to put the shadow of the sheep in. But let me dry that off first. Okay, what I'll do is I will before I drop in the shadow, I'm gonna mix up that some of that dark colour again. So it's basically your one of your browns and if you've got a neutral tint or a dark colour, it's just going to work on the the legs of those sheep there. Give me a second. give a wee bit more definition to the shape there. Okay, while that is still wet, I'm going to mix up a nice shadow colour. This time I'm going to go a wee bit stronger than, uh, than the previous one there. So same colours again, cobalt, alizarin, and a wee bit of yellow ochre just to mute it down a little. A wee bit more of that purple in there. Okay, and then I'm going to switch to a smaller brush for this. Okay, here we go. So, just right underneath those shape, and don't be, don't be afraid to make it a bit wonky and a bit wobbly. Because um, if the snow's laying on the ground, um, there will be a certain texture to it. And if the sheep have been kicking around and tromping around, uh, that's going to make it all look a bit muddy and a bit messy. Okay, so that might be just a little bit too dark. So I'm just going to, I'm just lifting some of it out with a damp brush. Okay, and then what I'll do is I'll, I'll put a couple of wee bits of uh, shadow or detail in here. And I will dry that off now. What I think I'll do is maybe grab a wee bit of that paint for the background there, where those trees are. And then what we're going to do, um, if we want, down the side here, we can maybe Put some trees and stuff in. Just to add a wee bit of interest to the um, picture. And I'll switch to my rigger now.
So it just needs a wee bit more pigment so it's not as see-through. Dry that off now. What I'll do is I will also put a bit of shadow the bottom of that tree there. What I'll do is I will drag up some wee bits of branches and so on. Okay, I will dry that off now. And what I'll do is I'll take my eraser and I'll just get rid of any pencil lines just to clean it up a wee bit. Okay, this is the fun part. This is the bit where we get to put the snow down. So again, I'm just getting a, a wee saucer there and I'm just putting a bit of my gouache in there. And the trick to this is getting the right consistency as usual. I'm gonna just use my wee water spray just to Mix that in, trying to get it to the right consistency. You don't want it too, too thick or it'll not splatter or too watery or it'll be a, a mess. So once you have that, just um, I'm just going to show you. So it's just a topping technique, okay? Okay, so try not to go overboard with the thing.
Okay, so at this stage, what I'm going to do is going to grab my little brush, and what I'll do is I'll go back into my tube this time because I want this to be a bit more controlled with less water in it. In fact, no water in it at all. And what I want to do is just grab a wee bit of that and then just put it in between those tree trunks as if the snow has been gathering there. Okay, and what you can do if you want, um, you can try putting a bit on the shape here, making it look like the snow's been building up on them while they've been sitting there or standing. Okay, I'm just going to dry this off now and then I'm going to pop my signature on it. So even though there's red in my palette there, um, I think it always, I think it's always better just to go into the tube for this because you're going to get a good strong colour. I will dry that off now. So all that's left to do is to take the tip off. And there you have it. A wee uh, Christmas card uh, snowscape with sheep. So have a wee go at that and see how you get on with it. And uh, until I'll see you the next time, take it easy and keep on painting. Bye.